Just in here late today, the family of the gunman in last week's Old National Bank mass shooting is now joining the voice for voices calling for the gun reform in Kentucky and the destruction of his weapon. Today, the family of Connor Sturgeon sent WHS 11 News a statement saying they were aghast when they learned that the rifle used in the massacre would be put up for auction. The Sturgeon family says they are working with ATF and LMPD to make sure the assault rifle is legally destroyed. The family said, quote, this tragedy is yet another indication that meaningful, common sense gun safety measures must be enacted. We respectfully urge the Kentucky State Legislature to lead the way by changing Kentucky law to remove the gun auction provision. As you know, this is in line with Louisville Mayor Craig, Green Craig Greenberg's efforts since day one of getting elected. His directive to destroy guns in Louisville instead of sending them back to the state to be resold at auction. Now, also today, a longtime family friend of Bank Vice President Tommy Elliott, who was killed in the shooting, also joined this very same call for changing that law and destroying the weapons. He sent us an opinion piece today, and we've posted the comments from Bob Irvine on WHAS11.com. We're also talking to him right now for a story that you'll see tonight on the WHAS 11 night team.